Hello listeners, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today, I will be talking about Adam Housley, Tamara Mori's husband. Adam Housley was born and raised in California. He lives in Napa Valley, California. He is of the Generation X. Also, he is a journalist and an entrepreneur. His wife, Tia, is an actress, mother of his children, and a television personality, ex-host of The Real Television Show. Recently, Adam came under fire for allegedly starting an investigation regarding fraudulent votes in Pennsylvania. Now, the issue I have is that people began, began calling him a racist, accusing him of being a Trump supporter, saying that he married um, a black woman to cover his racism. His racism, excuse me, I just I can't help but laugh because it is ridiculous what they're accusing this man of doing. And he says he is unbiased. I don't have a reason to not believe him unless he is lying. I have a problem with both sides because the silly Trumpers that I call, the people who will never see anything wrong with the Trump administration and no matter what will glorify them, they're wrong. Those people actually also harassed him and unfriended him from or unfollowed him from Twitter, about a thousand of them. And then the people from the left, um, the extreme left, they began calling him a racist and, you know, trying to cancel him out. And they are wrong too. I do not agree on that. We are in America. We live in America and we have freedom of speech. And we have the right to express ourselves. And our freedom of speech is protected. Now, we can't be calling people racist without proof. Without proof. You understand what I'm saying? And all you're doing is proving the point of the extreme of both sides of these parties to people who are unbiased and are independent voters who end up voting only for policies and not for presidents. So it is ridiculous. We cannot keep doing this to people. It's almost like conservative people I've noticed are so afraid of saying they're conservatives because they're going to be canceled out or their business shut down. That is intimidation. That is harassment. That is not how America is supposed to be. Same for the other side. There are people who hide their liberal leftist points of views because they might be in a company or with the party of people who are of the conservative side or Republican Party and they don't want to expose themselves. The Democratic Party, the same thing. People who are in Antifa, people who are in these groups that are terrorists, really, they terrorize people. One thing that I know about journalists, real journalists, is that whether they are active or not, retired or working, in that field, that passion never leaves them. They continue to be journalists, continue to have that ingrained in them. God gave them that gift and they want to report. So I almost feel like um, he felt like he wanted to say something or report or expose something and he did. Apparently somebody allegedly um, emailed him and told him about some fraud that they had witnessed or it had happened to them regarding the voting and he wanted to expose that. In my opinion, both parties haven't done enough for the black community, for the Hispanic community, or for any minority community. So, 
um, I find it very ridiculous for people to be on the extreme of both sides. I think we need to find a balance. We need to be united and not divided. We need to start um, calling out the illegal activities, the ones that we can prove are illegal, and exposing them and doing something about it. But not just saying somebody is a racist, saying there is fraud, proofs that there is, and there has to be proof. Come on, y'all. Y'all know better than that. I know you do. This man has two babies. He's got two little kids whose blood, all right, their blood's got African blood in it, and he knows it. The woman he lays with next to him bed every night is half African, has African blood in her. So you're not going to tell me he's a racist just because he doesn't fall into your perception of whomever you want him to be. But... You cannot call him racist. If he believed whites were superior to any other race, he would have never married a mixed girl, okay? Anyway, please let me know your opinions, your thoughts on this matter. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, y'all.